It's a very big day for stargazers and space lovers. This is the closest the moon has been to Earth in 68 years. In Kenya's Rift Valley, people from the town of Magadi are among millions around the world watching this natural phenomenon across the skies. Their experience was heightened by this telescope. We wanted to, to check out the moon with locals from this community just to see if we could get some traditional stories from them as well. But we also wanted to get out of the city so that we could have a good, you know, clear eastern, uh, eastern sky so that you could get the moon rising. Africans in ancient times look to the stars to measure time, forecast weather and seasons, as well as inspire legends, folklores and myths. There are stars that we use to predict the rainfall patterns, for example, the one that is seen from the far east and the other one from the west. For example, when the moon comes from the east, while it is red in color, we know that there will be a drought. The history and science of the stars fascinated astronomy enthusiast Susan Morabana so much that she has made it her mission to educate children and adults about it through her project dubbed Traveling Telescope. Some of them have come to us and said, oh, we'd like to go into astronomy or we'd like to, you know, go into engineering. We really think it's really cool. And what we try to do is really encourage kids, not just into astronomy, but emphasize that there's a lot of science in astronomy. The engineers who build the spacecrafts, the computer scientists who help with the programs, um, the biologists, the chemists. So we've gotten very positive responses and we still think there's potential. There's still a lot of work. There's still so much numbers to reach, and we hope we get to do that. The project is dedicated to promoting science and technology using astronomy. Morabana and her team work with schools in Kenya and some in neighboring Tanzania to study the night sky using computerized telescopes. They, want, they, have, they have been making plans to send people to Mars in the few coming years. We've also learned how to cope with life in space, apart from other stories I've heard from, sp from people talking about space and other movies about space. It's been very exciting to get to, the, to know about the real thing. Murabana wants to build a public observatory and planetarium that would be the first of its kind in East Africa. She wants to inspire more children to look to the skies and find a fulfilling career. Tuli Shabalala, CCTV.